Arena Breakout flew me to Los Angeles, California. Okay, so buckle up. There's a lot to go through here, guys. Before all that, I would like to thank Arena Breakout for sponsoring this video and for flying me and other content creators to LA. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go through the entire trip. Then in my vlogs, you get to experience the whole journey with me. They put us up in a super cool five-star hotel, paid for our flights and even food. The event itself was actually insane. Like, I swear, I wasn't expecting the production levels that the event had. It was literally a movie set with multiple high-end cameras zooming around, huge bikes on boom arms, interview set, a stage where the devs talked about a game and its future. And to top this all off, they transported us to an airsoft field where we filmed a super spicy cinematic movie and we also got to shoot each other with our weapons. Guys, like I said, I will be dropping full vlogs for everything that happened. So if you don't want to miss out on the crazy content, hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications to all and wait for the bombs to drop. All right, so Arena Breakout flew me out from the UK on Monday the 20th of March. On Tuesday, we hung out and checked out LA, got some food and I even took a dance class. Dance vlog incoming! Devs told us to then rendezvous at the hotel at 8 a.m. Wednesday morning. Just before I went to sleep, I got a super cool package sent to my room. A military grade backpack with our uniforms inside. Personalized dog tags and this Riz Army drip. All right, what's this? We seem to have a car, some cargo pants. This is for the boot camp, basically, guys. We're gonna do a boot camp tomorrow. Oh, we got we got a top. All right, this is the matching top. All right, so we got some sort of neck. I don't even know what this is. This is just like a neck pullover thing. I don't know what it's called, but this is like a neck pullover thing. You put it on your neck. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna wear him in a minute. I don't know what this is for though. Oh, we got a dog tag, guys. Hey yo, yo, that's sick. Yo, let's go. March 22. All the CCs, the devs, and the events team meet up here and chill for a bit until we head to the first venue. First venue is this warehouse over here, which kind of looks like this warehouse in Farmland. When we arrived, we were greeted by a camera crew and Sergeant Joel Garrison over here. Not gonna lie, I was hella excited to get screamed at for the army experience. Anyway, we get off the bus and head straight over this wall where we signed our names on the banner. How cool is this? Oh, yeah, you're I don't find myself. That's pretty tough. Then, we walked straight inside the warehouse where this whole set was waiting for us. Tables filled with secret documents, a stage for the dev talk, and more. We started the event by watching this exclusive, unreleased footage that, unfortunately, I cannot show you just now, but trust me, guys, the stuff that I saw in this video are absolutely insane! Right after the introduction, they literally made us jump into games straight away and gave us different challenges to run. After playing some games, Z Gilly the homie got up on stage and ran through the game's milestones so far. Then, Trinity jumped on to talk about Arena Breakout's creator program, which I'll tell you later how to join, and gave us all a super nice spotlight on stage. After this, we were all interviewed individually to talk about the game. They basically asked us what we thought about the game, what message we have for new players, full interviews out too. As everyone was getting interviewed, I grabbed Yuming and asked him a few questions. What would you say everything that the Chinese version has will come to mobile? Yes. yes. Oh, it will? So there's no exclusive? Yes, oh, wow. Sure, that's it's just going to need some time. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's amazing. Now, when it comes to new features later on in the game, a lot of people are asking me, are we going to get night mode? Are we going to get changing weathers? I don't know if you are allowed to answer that yet or not. Mm. Yes. <laughs> they are. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, yeah. This dev talk was absolutely amazing. Not only were they giving us information, they were also sitting down with us individually, get to know each and every single creator on a more personal level. I spoke to all the devs, literally every single one of them, and all of them showed an amazing amount of passion towards the game, the community, and its creators. Not gonna lie, guys, I literally wasn't expecting a really wholesome experience at all. I thought it was just gonna be game here, game that, airsoft, done. This event actually created a family that wanted to support each other. This is a dev team that I definitely want to work for for a very long time. After all this, it was time to head for the airsoft event. Let's go, baby! They took us to this airsoft field at a top secret location that had all these crazy maps. This is where things get super spicy. But before we get into this bit, if you're enjoying the video, please smash that like button to help the video grow with YouTube's algorithm. Also, drop a sub with notifications on for more epic content like this in the future. Let's get back to it then. When we arrived, it was bang on lunchtime. We had these tents where a 
buffet was waiting for us. They served us a complete military style trace and we all lined up to grab our food. I didn't eat too much though because I knew we were about to run for hours. Anyway, after we eat, I got lined up to get screamed at by Sergeant Joe Garrison. He made me do all these super easy drills that I literally do in my sleep. Then, we all gear up, helmets, rigs, gloves and masks, followed by the tent next door where the guns and attachments were. We got to choose between an M4 and this gun that looks like an F2000. I obviously chose the M4 for maximum drip accuracy plus 100. We basically had three things to choose from to do in a day. Cinematic movie, free for all and an extraction game in real life. I chose to be in a movie and free for all. The extraction game didn't really have real enemies. We were just running around shooting targets, picking up loot, go to the extract. And yeah, literally only target boys to shoot at. So I opted in for the free for all where myself, Monarch and Grimly did a 1v1v1 and just shoot each other for an hour straight. We also had two cameramen following us the entire time to catch some insane cinematic fight scenes. Unfortunately, I cannot release any of the cinematic footage just yet. However, I was wearing a GoPro the entire time we were fighting. Here's a snippet of what went down. Got one eye. Oh, he got away, chat! Once I have the cinematic shot, guys, I will make a dedicated video just for this airsoft fight that we had. Five hours later, it's time to head back to the hotel. It's been an absolutely crazy day. We're all exhausted, but we love every second of it. Yimin gave us a nice speech in the bus at the end of the day, showing his appreciation for everyone involved. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, it's oh. a long day and the hard work. Yeah, yeah, you oh. guys, awesome. Oh. Really, really thanks. It's far more than I respect. Uh, Thank you for having us. Yeah. When I got back to my room, I found another care package containing a cool cap and a military grade tactical flashlight that can literally blind Superman. Here's the cap that I got. <laughs> From here, I showered and get changed and meet the devs for dinner. I didn't bother filming anything at dinner. Everyone was tired. We had a long day. We, we just wanted to vibe out, eat and chill. So we did just that. But let me show you something real quick though, guys. They handed us a real life armory key card. I was automatically handed the red weapons key card, but I saw someone holding the blue one. So I asked for that one too, and I ended up with two key cards. When the time is right, I will give one of these key cards away. And all you've got to do to win it is subscribe. Guys, if you want to be considered for future events, come join our arena breakout creator program i legit only started playing the game and making content on it february this year zero prior experience zero knowledge about the game i literally started from scratch i just stay consistent dropping high quality content for the game and the next thing i know i get an invite to join the arena breakout creator program and a few weeks later i get invited to la on top of all this i legit earned 360 dollars while i was in la through the creator program all i did was literally upload and schedule videos for arena breakout to drop while I was in LA. This could literally be you next. Program link in the description of this video. Oh, we're not done yet though, guys. Here are a couple of spicy clips of me playing Arena Breakout. Come play the game with me. Use my personalized iStream official download link in the description below. Peace. Here's why I love Arena Breakout. Each fight is literally so intense that when you win them, it feels so good. Here's a crazy 1v3 I did in Armory, the hardest map in the game right now. I sneak up to take the enemies by surprise. Patience is key in this game. Those who are patient is greatly rewarded. Nice sneak attack, one down. My position is now compromised, so I decide to run to the other entrance and attack from the shadows again. I get deep in the bunker and manage to sneak upstairs. Slapped! That guy had no idea where to look. Last one. This was the most intense fight of them all.
I'm just better made. All right, time to extract out of the map. Oh, no way. And that, my friends, is the reality of the armory map. All can go well, but if you're not careful, the bots will put you to sleep. Still, though, a spicy 1v3. Let's go. Subscribe for more crazy content.